Um, first of all, first of all, guys, I thought we were friends. You know I'm poor. <laughs> you know I can't afford braces. I already had braces. I can't afford them again. Because I need them again. Tell me why I got three comments um, on my video yesterday about my teeth. Because at the start of the video, I said I didn't clean my teeth. And they're like, the lighting makes them look yellow. My teeth aren't yellow. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. First of all, I thought you were my friend. Okay, I thought we were friendly. But I find three comments talking about my teeth. My teeth? What's wrong with my teeth? I can't afford braces. First of all, rude, I can't afford braces. They're not eat. Die. They're fine. I mean, they're not fine. If you want to pay for my braces, pay, buy, buy me braces. But until then, I have to cope, okay? They're just a little crooked. I want to make that very, very clear. That you're being rude. I thought we were friends and you come on here and you bully me. You bully me? <laughs> me? It's too warm in here. It's too warm in here. I can't take my jacket off because look at it. Look at it. This is the physical comedy section. Where I try to remove my jacket. So, so I was going to um, straighten and cut my hair today on camera, but it turns out I've got children to look after, not my own children, but children nonetheless. And also, it's too hot. So bitch, I don't want to straighten my hair in this heat. In this November heat. <laughs> and my stomach hurts. Guys. <laughs> yeah, okay. My beautiful pillow. I don't like sweating. Yesterday, okay. Yesterday I kind of half joked. Somebody somewhere made a noise and the somebody somewhere was indeed my dog in the living room. That was the somebody and also the somewhere oh my god also i watched my video yesterday like a crazy person i watched my own content i don't know why i'm just so mesmerizing i have i have like ultimate charisma yesterday i joked about um my dog's barking and that's honestly, it's distracting me. Writing uh, my Sherlock Holmes fan fiction. And last night I did just that. I'm gonna read it to you. This is what this video is. What's she barking at? You're a good girl.
Miley. Are you stuck? <laughs> that was adorable. She got so stuck at the curtain. I didn't help her. Instead, I filmed her and laughed. I find myself. See, this is written. It's written from the point of view of John. As all the stories are. I find myself in my usual situation of relaxing after work, watching the great Sherlock Holmes, buried amongst his old books and documents from within our shared Baker Street lodgings. The keen detective was deeply immersed in his own quiet meditation, as is the most familiar sight to me now. I had been working long hours all week, staying out of his way, as whatever thoughts were circling in his mind did not seem like the sort it would do me any good to listen to. I knew well enough when it was beneficial for my health to stay out of his way. However, even then, his stillness was growing irksome to me. At this moment, only due to the fact that he has been almost entirely unchanged from the state for the last month or so. Not that he had remained still and motionless in his leather settee, but in that he had grown into a frequent habit of quietness. The man has now almost become entirely a non-verbal pillar which decorates our living room. Is this good? If my high school English teacher is watching this, please tell me I did good. Guys, I love these videos. I love these videos. Yesterday, you know, yesterday I was all like, what am I doing? I should kill myself on camera. But today I'm like, this is fun. Even though you made fun of my teeth yesterday and that's out of my control. If you want to pay for me for my braces, my adult braces, go for it. I won't complain. It's like ten thousand pound. I would be saying that he did not seem altogether himself these days. However, to claim that I ever understood his mannerisms it would be quite a bold claim, no? It did seem to me that he did indeed at least once derive joy from the effusive manner in which he could go off on long, drawn-out, complicated explanations of his deductions. Rather now, he began to communicate with nods of his stoic head, paired with, shy, short, paired with short, tempered bouts of rage. He was indeed solving a murder case which began only last week. However, with the books and papers scattered everywhere, it was difficult for anyone to tell exactly the, what the detective's focus was. I would usually have a case to write about, but this time I'm being left out of the solving and deduction. The only story I have to tell is that a week ago, our door knocked. And then it continues on, I don't care. It was around 2pm. See, I realized I don't have to reread all of the Sherlock Holmes novels, or even one of them, to remember how it goes because I remember how those books go and also writing doesn't have to be good so I rewrote a Sherlock Holmes fan fiction problem problem and no they don't fuck okay I know I say fan fiction and you're like oh they're gay because in every Sherlock fan fiction they're gay I understand that but in my mind he's like asexual and aromantic and he literally does not care I mean, John's a little in love with him, but that's not what the story is about. I think that's never what the story is. Well, clearly he's obsessed. He's writing about Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> because, like, all the books, okay, all the books are, like, they're from John's point of view. And he's always, like, He's obsessed with Sherlock, and I know it's because he thinks his own life is boring or whatever. And he's like, oh, he's such a complicated man, and I'm the only one who understands him. <laughs> anyway, it's fun to pretend. Guys, it's fun to imagine. Um, I wasn't going to cut my hair short, I was just going to trim it. A little bit because it needs shipped. It needs reshipped. But I want to reship it today. Also, I woke up at ten because I was awoken. 
Also, the reason my teeth look yellow yesterday because I was drinking coffee and or tea. Okay, I was drinking coffee and or tea. Like right now, my teeth are a little more yellow than they were a moment ago because I'm drinking coffee. It just, it's a temporary stain on the mouth. Okay. I actually don't care. Obviously, I don't care. <laughs> um, but it's fun to pretend. As I, as I, as I, as I have been saying. So what's up? Usually I have something to say. I don't really have much to say today. I get paid at the stroke of midnight. <laughs> Who up stroke in the midnight? That's not funny. I had the horrible thought yesterday. I had the horrible thought of actually editing my videos. Why would I do that? <laughs> Why would I do that? All the girls are girling, girling. All the girls are girling, girling. All the girls are girling, girling. All the girly girls. Should I wear eyeliner? Guys, uh, <laughs> I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. That's actually awesome. Cause listen, if I get to a thousand subscribers, I think that's when I get. It's not. I don't even think it's um. It's like a level up in my YouTube thing. My YouTube thing. My YouTube thing. Also, I'm wearing the scrunchie that matches the headband. You know what I mean? The scrunchie that matches the headband. Why are you crying? There's nobody out there for you. Well, judging by the dog's reaction, the children are back, so I have So I have to go, and then maybe later, if they leave and there's still time, maybe I will straighten and cut my hair. And maybe I'll cry on camera, because that's what everyone wants. That's what I want. You think I don't want to cry on camera? You think me? Stop it. I would love to cry on camera. I have cried on camera. For fun. For fun and for games. Because guys, nothing matters. The reason I started YouTube was because my life had got so bad it couldn't possibly get any worse by putting myself on the internet. <laughs> it's a cry for- I tell you this every day, you know this by now, it's a cry for help. Uh. Guys, it's just someone at the door. It's just someone at the door. Okay. Gotta go, I guess. I'm sorry. My Sherlock Holmes fan fiction is open in front of me. Because I'm a genius. I'm a genius artist, author, billionaire, entrepreneur. Stop! Pet therapist. Reader of books. I gotta go.